Hey guys, name's Finn. Wore my voice out on something audacious. Not gonna say any more. And also, by the way, it's Cyberg. Anyway, heading on down to mission this. Oh. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison, which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Oh, Garrett. Always so selfish. Why are you so endearing? Also, that quote about the liars and the thieves ingesting tongues and stuff, that, that's one of, my fa one of my many, many, many favorite lines from the game. The writing here is so good. Anyways, this is Craig's Cleft Prison, so it's expert, so the map... I don't have a map really well, I do, but it's, you know, it doesn't show the way. So scout around, you know, break out Cuddy. I've had my eye on Basso's sister for a while, another slightly not in line with his later character kind of moment, maybe, I don't know, break, break him out of Craig's cleft, she'll be very grateful, yes, Basso. So, there's Isid, and there's a lucky hand, and there's some, a thousand loot, and there's some escape, and there's some don't kill anyone. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, okay, let's buy stuff. Now, I mean, these tips, I don't know, personally, I like to buy tips just to read what they say, because I like reading, but I mean, Whatever, what am I going to use? Probably a bunch of water arrows. I'm probably going to want one of those, judging by my previous escapades. Uh, I guess I'll want one of those. And the rest I could probably just buy for the sake of reading. Because I know that it's not an expert thing to do, but, uh, you know, I already know whatever these things are going to say. But I like to do funny voices and stuff, so it's, you know, it's all pretty good. I guess I'll take both of those, actually. Why not? Three, five, six, seven... Fine, okay. And also, probably the only mission... Or, yeah, like, the only mission that has any kind of a daylight place? Well, except for the training mission, yeah. So, anyways, this is, this is freaking freaking Crag's Cleft. I keep thinking Bone Horde's the second level, but no, it isn't. There's a little funnel of doom there, funneling myself into the anti-gravity water chamber of the stars. And I guess I, I do have a map of the upper levels. Careful! Careful! That the guard stations not improving the likes of small businesses. So anyways, I'm thinking this is just the outside place and the only loot starts sort of appearing here. But this looks like a mighty suspicious bit of stuff that looks a lot different than I remember because of the updated models. Oh, 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 it's all pretty ridiculous. And that thing's sort of still lit even though it's not connected to anything and even though it's underwater. And, you know... Tilted stuff. It's scary, I guess. I don't know, man. Do I look like I know what's scary to you? Anyway, this zombie is here, and the funny thing about Normal and Expert on Thief 1 and Gold as opposed to the other games in the series is that 
there's a quite a lot of architecture change between the difficulty levels, and thus I can't show you an actually really beautiful looking room over here because it simply doesn't exist on Expert. There's a holy water room somewhere around here on Expert. It's like kind of there-ish, I guess, but it doesn't exist here, and I first time I played it on Expert, I searched around quite a lot and I was tripped the hell out because I couldn't find it. Which is a shame, because like I say, it's lovely, and I guess it's supposed to be, you know, an easier thing on normal, you know, to get your holy water game on, dance the little jig, open holy water style, open, 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 whatever. <laughs> okay, but I don't know if there's loot down there, or if there's just, you know, a thing. I happen to know that there's an evil lurking down here. Cthulhu. As you can see, Cthulhu over here is quite nice indeed. And uh, I'm just going to put him out of his misery. Hey there, Cthulhu. Would you like some soap? I think I saw Cthulhu soap on DeviantArt or something. It was really cute and hilarious and not hilarious, but existent for sure. Yes, it's a moss arrow. It's like so worth it coming down here. But this weird architecture that's tilted is pretty scary. Tilted stuff is scary and also I'm like literally stuck down here unless I have an arrow to shoot at a switch or something but wait wait oh what that button just appeared it like popped out of its gourd what Jesus where am I going here I want to go to that one place with the, the thing in it you know things and places don't tell me it doesn't exist okay there's that zombie there Here's where I want to go. Okay, factory. It's like you you get pointed everywhere. It's like, oh, well, there's those signs. Those signs are fairly obvious, right? And you're just like, oh, okay. There's the factory. And you're zombies. <laughs> I remember being told about this place by my brother, who I think played this game before me. And he's like, oh, man, oh, man, there's a zombie there. And it was late at night, and it woke up, and we both screamed. And I was terrified at this level because of that. He told me how they, how they pop up like so. Which seemed to have happened a lot more suddenly and scarily the first time I played it, but you know. Yeah. And they make sound to scare you when you get near them, even if they don't. <laughs> get up! Oh well. Zombies. Unfortunately, once you get used to a game, it's like uh, Cerebral was saying. I call him Cerebral because that's what he usually posts under, but the channel is Cyberg Plays. But, anyways. Uh. Like he was saying, you know, the magic kind of goes away once you understand the limitations of games and what they can do and stuff. I, I totally agree, and it's, it is a shame, but, yeah, I better not make my commentary too informative or else I won't be my usual silly style and then I'll just get arrested and shot in the face. Arrested and shot! I mean, hell, can you, can you compete with that? Yo, I don't think so. Jumping is, like, farther on the first jump or on any jump in this engine than it is in Thief 2, which... I imagine it would make for an interesting sort of a thing happening if you were to convert Thief 1 to Thief 2, as has sometimes been done, such as with the cathedral. Also, the word happening is weird. There's a movie called The Happening, and I thought it was the funniest name ever because it was so generic, but apparently happening is some kind of strange, hippie-like event, and it's really weird and silly-sounding, but I, I could be wrong. Oh, oh well. Look at me not playing it properly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is so bad of me. Wow. I guess there's all these dead ends so as to trap you in there and get the zombies to hand rape you in the face. That was horrible. I apologize. <laughs> anyway, I believe this room, at least sometimes, has got some holy water in it and you can just sort of, you know, get it if you want. And you can kill the zombies, which... I probably won't be doing a whole lot of, but it's fun to do so, I guess. And I used to do it all the time, of course, even on normal, because, geez, these things were freaking scary, man. I mean, I mean, seriously, but I have a very limited amount of water arrows at the moment, so I'm not going to do anything funny business like, you know. Anyway, yeah, no funny business. Well, maybe some funny business. I, okay, fine. I want these to put out lights later, but oh well. I want this guy out of my face. 
so that I cannot be bothered in this one place that's also pretty scary. Did I mention this level is generally intended to be scary? I think this is news to everyone here. So yeah, I think I'm coming up on it right about now. Or not. Where the heck am I going here? That's crazy. No, I think I'm going the wrong way to see the thing I wanted to see. Is it... yeah? Maybe? Ah. Quiet now for some reason. I seem to have lost my way. Now, of course, I could hack these zombies and they'd fall down dead like a ring around the rosy, but that's an urban legend, so they actually wouldn't ever, ever. God damn it, where am I? Oh, yeah, that's some crazy water, which I guess is where I come out later. Oh, here we are. There's a, there's a guy here. Just skeleton shaking his head. For some reason, this is terrifying to me. I don't really see why, but it's... It's just like, no, skeleton sitting in tracks, like, don't come here. I don't know. Like, not now terrifying, but like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty scary. And also, there's a way around that skeleton somehow, although I can't quite recall what it is, question mark? Oh, it's probably there. Well, that's... That's water, so maybe not. Huh? Something about this water room is very weird indeed. It seems to be nothing here, but... I could swear there was another passage half Ah! <laughs> yes, okay. This is this is the way to slightly make things work in a sort of funny-ish way. And the way that it works funny, I suppose I'll just show you when I get there, but it's hilarious enough to be stuck in a classy children's joke book. Two different paths? What is this, insane? I think I'm going back to the start of the level here for some reason. I just sort of remember that. Maybe. What the deal? Waterfall of green slime like goop? Oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to come out later. Spoiler, maybe. I'm just spoiling everything all over the place, but I'm assuming most people have, watching this have played it because otherwise you're really just getting me goofing around. All these halls would be close packed with novices, striving to learn our teachings. Who art thou there in the sh. Hmm. Seems to be a lot more undead here, an expert. Of course you can have him fight the guards, and, and it's pretty funny. Anyways, I don't really want to sneak up the back way. I don't know. What happens is you can go up behind that skeleton and pluck his head right off. And it's funny. <sighs> but he'll still shoot it at you if you then go around in front of him, which is even creepier because it's a bug, and bugs are even creepier than insects, you know what I'm saying? Ladybugs, they like, have sex for eight hours. Frickin' must have read that on a wiki binge or something. I, I'm definitely not looking this stuff up here. Come on, people. I'm not... I'm not like that. No. No, not at all. You know, honestly, I sometimes cut to the exact same area because the cutting punctuates what I'm saying. Don't explain the joke, Fen. And there it is again. Yeah, so anyways, you're sort of supposed to maybe come around this way. I don't know. Probably missing some loot down here by doing that, though, but... Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft. Will be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. Yeah, you tell those political likers. Politics? Nonsense, even though the Hammer Order probably does have some quite a lot of politics itself, maybe, but <laughs> hey, who am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? The world I live in is formed by politics, and I probably accidentally make use of them all day, but I still don't care about them, which is like a silly thing, I guess, but no, that's okay. You know, that's sort of okay. Also, I kind of want to... So that's that, and here's where I came in just a while ago and got caught blue-handed with a bunch of weird ear-piercing sound waves that kill everybody in the room except me because I'm an alien. Yeah, see, I'd want the water arrow for that torch there. Because, you know, KO and that guy's lame. Unless there's something behind it, but I don't think there is because ghosting might not be possible. Let me just check here. I'm sure, I'm sure all of these thief gold levels are ghostable, I think. I think I have read ghost reports. Well, okay. Okay, so not, but 
I mean, that guy doesn't do anything, so hopefully I'm not missing any loot in the mines. Probably am, but... Well... Oh well, I guess I'll just walk my spooky ass back down here later. I mean, these textures kind of look good, but at the same time they kind of look strangely lit, but that's because the lighting is strange, I guess. Yes? Oh. What? Ah. I should try to use flash bombs sometimes instead of just reloading, but I guess I don't have any. Oh, I haven't read my amusing tips yet. That's... It's pretty funny. Word on the street is that the hammers are eager to take back the top level of haunted mines because there's a specially blessed holy water font there. Yeah. <laughs> According to Dickett, a heretic who was recently left out of... Let out of Christ left Cuddy's being held in cell block 4. Uh, these aren't as interesting as the tips you get in fan missions, and I apologize. Also, I thought it said Cuddy's brain is being held in cell block 4. <laughs> I guess I'm in a morbid mood today. Also... Oh, I thought that light was a strange bit of foreshadowing, but no, it's merely backshadowing, which is kind of like backlighting, but the evil version. Oh, I think I know what's in. <sighs> Even the OMs did it. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> I think this might be the first place where you might actually have to use the architecture, so to speak. Is he coming this way or what? My stereo seems to be strange. Sometimes things... Oh, wait. No, I guess he went past me or something. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll can the apple on the wall there, but unfortunately I cannot pluck it and eat it, although that would be pretty surreal. Worthy of... of... innuendo. No, what was that mission? Immersion. No. Incubus. Yes. Isn't Garrett supposed to say something like, I better not walk on that floor? Or does he only say it when he... Clanky metal grating. I better tread softly. Because <laughs> they expect you to actually have made a clank. If thou be there, oh. bespeak thyself. I'm in shadow, you asshole. Come on. Hold. Hold. <sighs> Excuse me, princess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. There is something to be said for knocking people out, I suppose. I suppose I have been influenced by people's opinions in the distant past, as often happens. You know, this guy, however, has a weird... Route, by which I mean it goes through the middle of the room, which is weird enough for me. I don't know why he'd walk on clanky tile, as it would be bad for your eardrums, and you'd go have to, you know, you'd go to a rock show and you wouldn't be able to hear the music, and that'd just be tragic. And the floor is set up so that it's all clanky this way, and you can't, and he goes that way, so it's hard. It's hard to get in behind him. Uh, because you have to go over the clanky tile no matter what. Interesting. Hello? Where's oh. uh, that's odd. How the heck did I... Oh, torches. I don't want to waste these arrows willy-nilly here. I want to waste them Frederick Schmedrick. Uh, what to do here if I was trying to be a smart man? I guess I need to get that gate open. So I could probably crawl. He turned around. What the heck did he turn around for? He doesn't always do that. Freaking random. Well, if that's the case, I might still be able to get in behind him. Eh? No, of course not. I guess he just does that. Uh, fine. This is gonna be something. Move. Thou shalt regret. <laughs> what did I used to do? Oh, whoops. I'll just pretend that was an intentional edit <laughs> to cut out the horrible violence of me KOing this guy. K and O are violent letters and they should be removed. But T is a very nice letter. You could stick it at the beginning or at the end of words and have odd sort of, you know, forceful sounding things. Anyways, I think I've pretty much messed up a little tiny bit, so I'm going to go commit ritualistic punishment by banging my head against a wall and then and then for every time I do this just some kind of nervous habit I have I'm going to shoot myself in the brain not in the head but you know have a surgeon actually open my brain up and then I can shoot myself <laughs> then I'm gonna cuddle a care bear see you guys later bye for now